Okay, let's look at another question. Here on this one, they give us some data, total square footage, X, sales, Y. It looks like the table shows the total square footage in billions of retailing space at shopping centers and their sales in billions of dollars for 10 years. The equation of the regression line, they give us that, is uh, 547.912 times X minus 1860.972, complete parts A and B. They want us to find the coefficient of determination. So this is real easy to do in Excel. Uh, the previous example I showed you where we used the, used the data analysis in Excel, we're going to do the same thing here. If you're using a Pearson product, you can click on that icon, say open in Excel. If not, you can just type your data in. So let's open this in Excel. Okay, it's opened in Excel. Real easy to do. On this one, they gave us the regression equation. I'm going to go to data. Then I'm going to go over here to where it says data analysis. You should have data analysis on yours if, uh, when you uh, uploaded or uh, downloaded your uh, Microsoft Excel. This is the data analysis tool pack. I'm going to go down here and I'm going to pick regression. Say OK. Uh, my Y range is going to be right here. It's my Y values only, my X range right here, A2 to A11. I don't need any of these other things. The previous ones, we got the residual plots here. I don't need it. I'm going to say OK. Now, if you will notice, this gives me my R squared, which is my coefficient of determination. Let's see if I can mark that. There's my R squared. I'm going to come out here and I'm going to say that is my coefficient of determination, determination. Uh, if they ask you for the standard error, right there it is. I'm going to mark it. There's your standard error. Uh, so you have that. I don't know if it gives you the R value in this or not. It gives you the coefficients of the equation. You'll notice this is uh, down here, you don't need this right now because they gave you the equation, but this means that it was y equals 547.9121 times x minus negative, I'm, I'm sorry, minus 1860.97. But you've got all of that data now, so we've got this. We nailed it.